I am so gonna miss Fortnite Remix Chapter 2. As I'm recording this, we are on the last week of this season. This has been an amazing season, and this has been a really big breath of fresh air after the really disappointing Chapter 5. But I will say that Fortnite Remix Chapter 2, it was something that we all needed. And whether it was the rappers who was like part of the actual season, or maybe it had something to do with the battle pass, or maybe it was the loot pool and how they added add, how they added brand new weapons as well in order to cater to this theme which was rapper themed with the mix of spies but what i in really really also enjoyed is the fact that juice world is in the game and the fact that he's going to have his own concert at the end of this season which i know is going to be spectacular and the fact that it might actually be on par with travis scott's concert it let me really intrigued and very interested so yeah, there's a lot to look forward to for these last, for the final days of Fortnite Remix Chapter 2. However, now that we're at the near end of this season and we're getting closer to Chapter 6, I think it's important to talk about what is to expect for the next season, that being Fortnite Chapter 6 Season 1. So first of all, it's no surprise that the next season is going to be Japanese themed and we're going to have certain elements, you know, to accommodate to that theme. and I, for one, can, am really looking forward to it, especially considering the fact that this is their second attempt at a Japanese-themed season. The last time we had this was during Chapter 4 Season 2, which was Tokyo-themed, and the, the Battle Pass itself was really good. I did not like the fact that Aaron Yeager was part of it, and not to mention, you can't really get him anymore, but I did enjoy some of the aspects that they had, like having, you know, elements that, you know, accommodate with the theme, as well as Mega City, which was easily my favorite POI of chapter four. And I really, I really do like that a lot. So I'm curious to see what to expect for chapter six season one's map, or well, especially chapter six's map in general, because expect, especially considering that we're gonna be, it's gonna be Japanese themed and considering that we're gonna have certain elements like, you know, an actual arena where we fight off against NPCs or the fact that we might actually have boss battles this is really something to look in, to look into what i'm mostly looking forward to and i'm really hoping that they keep is hit scan and like i said before it was really great and i'm glad they brought that back for this season however it needs to stay for the remainder of fortnite i don't care what anybody think about but the uh bullet drop the bullet drop was not as good as hit scan at the very least with hit scan you can actually hit your shots head on but with bullet drop, you have to position yourself in order to like make sure your bullets actually travel and actually hit the opponents, which is not really that great, honestly. But I'm hoping that they actually do keep hit scan in for the remainder of Fortnite, to be honest. Now, another thing that I also hope they actually bring back is the augments. I also heard that we are going to have a rework of the medallions, which Sounds interesting, and I, I don't know what to think about it, but I'm just glad that we're also going to have arguments in, in back in the game. I, I, I'm hoping that we actually do, because arguments has been a good staple ever since the beginning of Chapter 4, and I really do like that. I haven't played Chapter 4 Season 1, but I heard that the arguments in that season was amazing, and, you know, considering me playing this chapter, you know, considering me starting in Chapter 4 Season 2, where the augments was present, I actually think the augments was really great. Even if people didn't like the ones during uh, chapter four, season three and four, I actually had a blast with these augments and I didn't really mind them that much. Honestly, didn't mind them. I actually enjoyed using them. And I know some people didn't really like them, but the op it's optional. The augments are optional. So, so if you don't like them, just don't use them. Do not ruin this for everyone else. Now, another thing to look forward to and this has been a staple ever since the beginning of you know season five, I believe, is the collabs. I gotta be honest, I, I as much as I enjoyed the collabs in Remix Chapter Two, and I admire the fact that we've only gotten three collaboration skins. We'll make that four considering Snoop Dogg. As much as I really enjoyed the fact that we've gotten less collabs and more originality, I will say I am hoping that they do tone it down a bit on the collaborations because. I know a lot of people really didn't really enjoy the fact that we've been oversaturated with it and it's also been affecting the story itself as well so but 
And me, me personally, as much as I enjoy the collabs, I do think they also need to tone it down a bit and also make sure some of the collabs actually make sense, make it really make sense for a part of their seasons. Just like they did with the Avatar and just, yeah, just like they did with the Avatar collaboration, that actually made sense to be a part of Chapter 5 Season 2, considering the theming of it. And I really do enjoy, I, I really did enjoy the Avatar collab collaboration, but I do think they also, they really need to tone it down a bit on them. Now, there are some collaborations that they've leaked for Chapter 6. For starters, we are getting a Godzilla collab in, uh, which I'll talk about that later. But we're also confirmed to have Demon Slayer as part of Chapter 6. And considering that the next season is going to be Japanese themed, I could not find a better time to actually drop this than with Chapter 6 Season 1. And considering that, you know, this is Japanese themed, and considering we're also having a another anime collaboration thank god which is brand new i can't really think of a reason for them not to bring back the naruto collaboration it's been two years since the naruto cosmetics haven't you know have been in a shop and i think now's the right time for them to bring it back we've waited over two years for them to come back and now it's the right time for it considering that this theme is japanese themed and also, there's also kunai that's actually been leaked, so I don't think of a better time for them to bring it back. So I'm hoping Epic can find a way to actually renew the contracts and, you know, for the Naruto collaboration and to bring it back. I would love to play as Naruto. I would also love to play as Hinata, and I would also love to ride with the Kuroma Glider. I, th I think the Naruto collaboration has some really great cosmetics, and I'm hoping that they do bring that back. There's also other collaborations like confirmed, like Cyberpunk, and as well as um, Avatar. That's also collab, also added. Not the uh, cartoon, but the movie series Avatar. So yeah, there's are, there are some really good collaborations to look forward to. And after the Snoop Dogg collaboration for Fortnite Festival, we're also expecting to have new jeans for Fortnite Festival Season Seven. Now I know the situation is going on between new jeans and. Well, mainly between New Jeans' manager and Hybe, you know, the company behind BTS and TXT. I know the situation was been going on between, you know, those factions. However, like, it has been confirmed that the collaboration it will continue. But I'm hoping that there's a good ending towards this whole situation with New Jeans and Hybe. But that that's all I have to say about that. Now let's get into the main thing, and this one just leaked at the time of me recording this. This was leaked like three hours ago, and that is the Battle Pass. And I gotta say, they they honestly did a good job with the Battle Pass. I really do like the skins they got going on. Like, for starters, we have another Hope skin. This will be the second Hope skin to be in a Battle Pass, and it will also be the first non-exclusive Battle Pass skin. So... I am looking forward to it, and I will say, this Hope skin, it actually looks, I, I think it actually looks the best out of the three. And on top of that as well, we also got other skins that are actually part from the survey. So, yeah, this this battle pass is not actually that bad. I do like the skins going on, especially the one, the like the one riding the koi fish. I do think, I think she might actually be one of my favorite ones. But the biggest one that I have to talk about, and I, I was not expecting this, they added Baymax from Big Hero 6 into the Battle Pass. So he is going to be a Battle Pass skin, which is amazing, honestly. You know, Big Hero 6 is my second favorite Disney movie, right behind Wreck-It Ralph, which is number one for me. So to see this collaboration in the Battle Pass, I am so hyped for it. I am hoping that they do justice with Baymax's sets. I am also hoping that we also get good collab good cosmetics for his set as well and considering that he's part of a battle pass that's going to be a thousand v bucks it's a lot better than those garbage disney villain skins that they tried to sell us during fort nightmares 2024 so there are a lot of things to look forward to for chapter six and i am hoping they bring back the augments i am hoping they also bring can continue with the hit scan i am hoping they ditch the whole weapon mod system i hope they also do a better job with the medallions and I also hope the gameplay is really good. I know the battle pass looks really amazing. And I'm hoping to see it in the in game. I can't wait for that. And I also can't wait to see what the next the secret skin will look like. Assuming that Godzilla will not be the one. I really appreciate it if you all would just leave a like on the video if you enjoyed. 
uh we got more banger content coming on and on the way uh i should have another um video out this month or out this week but until then this is started protagonist signing out as always goki genyo and have a startastic day everyone if you enjoyed today's video then be sure to like comment subscribe and turn those notifications on to join the star nation also be sure to follow my twitter and while you're at it check out my previous video now